political landscape briefings um, go into individual congressional races? I would oftentimes give uh, t sort of an update on what was going on in the country. And so if, if it were, uh, if we were focused on, you know, um, uh, people were focused on a certain set of races, I, I would oftentimes talk about those races. And when I say people, I mean the, the broad sort of intellectual political community because people read and they are interested and they want to know. And they would oftentimes ask me, you know, to come speak and tell them what I thought. So individual congressional races, individual well, I can't think, I didn't think be. I would sort of focus on one specific. I would give a broad overview of, you know, what, what the two parties were doing based as best as I could tell it. And what the impact on that, you know, would be on the president's ability to implement his policies. You can understand that the concern here is that the use of government facilities for briefings that targeted particular candidates in particular races. Well, I take issue with your, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. Maybe, oh, Neil didn't think you were finished. Were you finished? In the, in the light of that, are you telling me that that is not what took place in these briefings? Uh, these briefings were uh, informative. They were meant to thank employees. They were meant to share with them what the president was doing and their role. And, and, and given my unique role within the White House, uh, and given the fact that many of these people had worked in politics in one way, shape, or form and had an interest, I would uh, oftentimes share my knowledge and my viewpoint about the political landscape of the country. And would that include the specification or targeting of particular candidates? I, 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 again, you're asking me if I'm not, I'm not following your, your question, and I, I don't, you, what, are you, what specifically are you asking me? Did the names of particular candidates? Uh, well, certainly, if I was going into, you know, I would talk about the, you know, what was going on in the country. And so if, if there were six or eight or 10 or 15 or, you know, uh, uh, places where the sort of broader political intelligentsia was focused, I would talk about those places. By name of candidate? I, I would talk about, uh, well, if you're talking about the landscape, it's very hard to talk about the landscape if you don't talk about the people who are the stars in the, in the show. So I'm sure I mention candidates' names all the time, but I don't, you know, it's a, it would be a, a question of um, sharing, you know, who they, uh, what was going on, uh, what people said was likely to occur, um, what I thought about that, if I agreed, if I disagreed, you know. The extent to which program or grant decisions should be influenced by uh, your designation of these candidates as vulnerable? I, I, uh, I'm not sure I understand what you're asking me. Well, you're, what is your, you have a question about grants? Yeah. I mean, you're talking to people who have. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I misunderstood you. Uh, uh, no, my uh, political briefing, the purpose of those briefings was to inform people, it is not to direct people on how to engage their activities based on my opinions. I'm out of time. Thank you.